All right, this is Lynn with Lynn's Hangouts, and we're here tonight at Sammy's Rockin' Island Bar and Grill in Roseville, and we're hanging out with one of our favorite bands, the Mockups. And I've managed to talk the lead guitarist, Jeff Ebbage, into an interview during break. No, that <laughs> so, was hard to do. Yeah, yeah, like twist your arm, right? Exactly. <laughs> well, thanks, Jeff, for hanging out with us tonight. Thank you, Lynn. Very cool. Excuse me, so can I get you anything from the bar? Uh, I, I, <laughs> Nothing from the bar? <laughs> you sure? A, a, you know, a sentence sticker. Positive. <laughs> Fine. Scented sticker. One sentence sticker. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, yeah, what that's about my, me, my chopped liver? I don't get that, anything that was from the my bar. Ballet. <laughs> that's Would funny. you like anything, Miss Reeves? No, I'm good, thank you. All right. <laughs> Just teasing you. Okay. All right. Well, we got that out of the way because I did ask him to do a blooper, so <laughs> he got you pretty good. Of course, you got him really good. You remember that one? I do. Oh, I, I, I can. Oh, it was awesome. I can still see it. <laughs> it was great. So I'm dying to find out what makes Jeff Ebbage tick. <laughs> I mean, seriously, you are awesome. How did all this guitar playing and musical ability begin for you? Oh, uh, well, it, it began, uh, I'll, I'll date myself. Uh, I saw the Beatles when I was four years old on oh. Ed Sullivan. Oh. So I was like a little four-year-old Jeff, yeah. and there they were, and I'm like, I want to be one of those guys. And your, your hands were like glued on the TV set. Yeah, watching. <laughs> yeah, and you know, my parents had Meet the Beatles, the album, and it just was playing endlessly, and so I just, you know, that's what really, that's what really did it for me. There's just, you know, I, I, you know I, I don't know what it is. There's something about playing music that taps into something inside oh, of me. That, very magical. Yeah, it's just, you know, just some, yeah. I, I, can't, I can't explain it. It's just, it's just you there. Know, yeah. It's just you. It's part of your soul. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I, just have to, I just have to put everything I have into the oh, songs. Oh, yeah. And you do. That's true. You do. So the Beatles basically inspired you. Oh, yeah. And when did you pick up your first guitar? Uh, 14. Really? Yeah. I'm surprised you waited that long. <laughs> Ten years. <laughs> <laughs> There's a story behind that, too. Oh, but, okay. Um, well, go ahead. You want that story, too? Sure. You, yeah. any, anything uh, you want to say? Yeah, you know, I wasn't a terribly coordinated kid. Oh. And, um, and my parents were kind of afraid, uh, you know, to give me guitar lessons. They were afraid that I wouldn't do very well. Oh. And so uh, there was a neighbor who was a year older than me, and he was like the star of the basketball team and had, you know, girlfriends. Uh -huh. Yeah. which was inconceivable for me uh, <laughs> until after I played guitar. Um, and, uh, and so we arranged to take lessons together. Uh -huh. And um, and he, and I, man, I got, like she said, practice 15 minutes a night, two chords, yeah. D, A7, D. Yeah. I practiced two hours a night. Wow. Well, the other guy, I mean, was really, he, everything came pretty easy to him. And oh. So he got disinterested and it was like, wow, this is something yeah. that I've wanted to do and yeah. I can do. Yeah. And wow. Yeah. So now you were making the music that you found so magical. Yeah, yeah, oh. that, was, that was the earliest, the, you know, the first stuff I learned, uh, you know, oh. was, was Beatles and Creedence and awesome. that kind of oh. stuff, Stones, all the, all the great 60s stuff. Fabulous. It's you know. been so cool to just play all that. It was, it was really a lot of cool. fun. It was a lot of fun. Well, I know you've been in a lot of bands before you hooked up with the mock-ups. Yes. So if you care to go into any of those. Oh, um, you know, I played in the, um, in the 80s and early 90s, I played in a band called uh, Grey Matter, which then oh. turned into Cottonhead, okay. which was a writing original stuff. It was college radio. I mean, nice. we were signed to various labels. I've heard myself on the radio, wow. my songs on the radio many times. I've oh done my gosh. interviews. Wow. Uh, you know, I've you know met people. Very cool. <laughs> and uh, I did every, you know I did everything but make money. Uh oh. Uh, so uh, <laughs> that's but, the hardest part, huh? Uh, Apparently. <laughs> uh, you know, we we play in front of large audiences and open up for really great bands, and it was oh. super fun. Very but, cool. Um, you know, so then and that you know at some point took its top, you know went away uh -huh. and I said uh, it's funny because Marty the bass player yeah. wanted to quit music entirely oh. and we were you know we were playing in the early version of the mock-ups that time just on the side for fun and I said Marty don't quit this is you know we, we could still be rock stars just yeah. for, you know <laughs> yeah. and so uh, so I, he, he he stuck it out and you oh. know and we still play and it's just oh. fun to be able to get and that's shake awesome. it up. That's very cool. Well Miles actually um, on Facebook the other day gave me the link for Grey Matter. So I went in and I liked that page yeah. and it was very cool. Yeah. And there was a picture of you when you were very young in there. Yes. <laughs> Way yeah. back when, huh? Uh -huh. And then of course he posted that other one that you saw that with I some t I don't know, did he get it from somebody's mantle? He said it was I, you know, I don't know the, the black and white one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know where he got that. I my, you know, I I don't know where he got it cuz my wife has uh -huh. the the what I thought was oh. original in a okay. frame in you know in the bedroom. Okay. And I, I don't know where Miles got that. And then all of a sudden it shows up on Facebook. Right. And it's her favorite photo. It's like oh, oh that's nice. It's a very good photo. <laughs> very cool.
So you hooked up with the mock-ups yeah. way back when, when they first started. Yeah. And you've basically been with them ever since. Yeah, you know, in, in Grey Matter, I was the songwriter, lead vocalist, rhythm guitar player. Wow. So we had an excellent lead guitar player, and so Miles said, hey, let's, let's play some covers. Oh. And I thought, I could be the lead guitar player. Yeah, you wouldn't have to be rhythm, huh? Right, exactly. <laughs> you don't have to write. <laughs> exactly. Just have fun and play, yeah. you know. And so that I've really cut my teeth on oh. guitar solos through the mock-ups. That's very cool. Yeah, you found your, your uh, groove. <laughs> very cool, very cool. Well, I'd have to say you have some pretty fine instruments up there on stage. <laughs> <laughs> you really do. That's awesome. How many guitars do you own? Like 10 or 12 or something oh, like that. Okay. So I, don't, I don't bring them all. There's a couple yeah, that stay, stay at home. But yeah. yeah, I've got like 12, I think. Oh, very nice. Very so. cool. Which is your favorite? Uh, my favorite uh, it does not it, it doesn't come to these shows. Okay. It's just because it, it's a 1959 Rickenbacker for free. Oh, and if wow. you go to the Grey Matter, it's it's a sunburst Rickenbacker. It's, it was my main guitar in Grey Matter. Wow. And it's, first of all, it's, you know, really valuable. I got yeah. it for $300. Now it's worth like 12000 or something oh, crazy. Oh, my gosh. And, nice. um, and it just, you know, I mean, it sounds like, like, it, it just has one particular distinct sound. Uh -huh. So, um, and that sound, I can kind of get out of my other guitars without having to necessarily bring that one. Oh, nice. So, I, you know, I, I, I really find with the, my couple of Gibsons and my yeah. Telecaster, my Rick and Mark 12 string and Gretsch, that I can get a really wide palette of tones. Right. Because exactly. I'm the only guitar player. Right. So true. I've got to really be able to cover a lot of true. sonic ground. Very true. So, um, Very that, true. The, the 59 Rickenbacker is the, That's And then beautiful. next after that. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's a, a, a kind of a cherry Gibson Explorer that I have that uh -huh. I play with yeah. mock-ups. Yeah. And I got that one from Nick, Rick Nielsen of Cheap Trick. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. So it was, cool. a, it was a charity auction. He had signed the pit guard. He clearly oh. played it a lot. And wow. it's sun sent it to me. Oh, so I man. took the original signed pit guard off. But yeah. Uh, yeah. being a huge Cheap Trick fan, oh. that guitar is pretty special. Very, very cool. I love Cheap Trick myself. That's really neat. Yeah. Very cool. Well, I have to ask you also about the story of how you acquired your Gibson Explorer. That's it. That's that's the that's guitar I'm talking about. Oh, Gibson, oh, that's the, that's the, oh okay. Yeah, that's Sorry. the Rick Nielsen that's, guitar. Oh, yes. gotcha, okay. gotcha. Sorry. Oh, man, that's awesome. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. That's yeah, how I got that. very cool, very cool. Yeah, those are very precious. So, <laughs> well, is there anything else that you'd like to say to Lynn's Hangouts and to your fans? Mm. <laughs> Any other stories? Anything? Uh, else? No, I mean, no, <laughs> I, I mean, Lynn, I, I, uh, I really appreciate what you do for the musical community oh, here. We you. are very delighted and honored that you support us, <laughs> and and you know, I'm sure that there's you know, dozens and dozens of other bands that could echo that. So totally my um, you know, and to our fans, you know, just keep supporting. Lynn's Hangout. <laughs> well, and, keep you supporting know. you guys. You have a lot of fans here tonight. They are so loving this. It's a pretty good show. I, I love it when each of you are count or you're actually, you know, saying the names of the right. people that you know. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Very cool. Well, let's take a little bit more of a break and get back and rock. Oh, that sounds so good. Thank you so much, Jeff, for that Thanks, great Lynn. interview. Bye, everybody. All right.